Every single human being, Muslim or non-Muslim, believer or non-believer, religious or non-religious, believes in the existence of God or does not believe in the existence of God, every single human being believes in death. But the thing is, it's forgotten. And it's constantly forgotten. Not only by the disbelievers, not only by the non-Muslims, even by us as Muslims, we forget about death. Because if we really remember death, and we remind ourselves of death, we would not be doing a lot of the sins that we do. We would not be committing a lot of the sins that we fall into. We would not disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, أَكْثِرُوا مِنْ ذِكْرِ هَذِي مِنْ لَذَّاتِ Constantly remind yourself of the destroyer of desires. Majority of mankind are the slaves of their desires. They follow their desires. They do exactly what the desire wants them to do. Even if it's wrong, even if it's harmful, even if it's evil, we follow our desire. But that moment that you remind yourself of death, or you know that you'll be dying, then you no longer become the slave of your desire. You become the true slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If anyone is diagnosed with illness or a disease by the doctor, and he says he only has a few months to live, watch their character changes. Watch their life turn from one angle to another. Watch them repent. And it's good. But what saddens me is, we wait for a doctor to tell us that you're going to die, and yet it's not enough when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kullu nafsin da'iqatul maut. Every soul shall taste death. Every soul shall taste death. Every single one of us. Every single one of us shall taste death. Everyone shall taste death. Regardless how powerful they are, regardless how weak they are, regardless how rich they are, how prestige they are, how influential they are, no matter what's in their hands and how much they are protected in this world, the all shall taste death. Everyone shall taste death. Everyone will experience death. Not only human beings, even the jinn. Even the jinn will taste death. And not only human beings and jinn, even the angels will taste death. Every creation of Allah will taste death. And the only one that will live and never die is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Lord of death and 